welcome to Storytime. My name is Liz and it's lovely to have you with me today and thank you for choosing Storytime. Today we're going to continue with our theme of Christmas because it's not long is it? I hope you've seen my friend Julie's video about making an advent calendar. It's fantastic and advent calendars are a really good way of giving us a countdown and telling us how many sleeps we have until Father Christmas comes to visit us. Well, today we're going to be reading a story from this gorgeous little book and the title is My Little, and small, My Little Treasury of Stories and Rhymes and it's got lots and lots of stories in, lots and lots of rhymes and some of the stories are all about Christmas. So I'm going to be reading another story today and thank you to Ruby who has lent me this book. Today we're going to be reading all about Babushka. Now, babushka is a Russian word and it means old woman or grandma. So hopefully you'll see babushka behind me in a minute. And she often wears a headscarf tied around her head, covering her hair. And Russia is one of the largest countries in the world. And it can be very, very cold at the very top of Russia in places called Siberia, Brrr, freezing. And I've got a feeling that Babushka might be living in one of those cold and remote places in Russia. And also we're going to be introduced to some new characters. We're going to be introdu introduced to three wise men. Three wise men are very important in the story about Christmas. Sometimes they're also known as the three kings. And I know I've read a book around the nativity, the nativity play that was put on in a school. And Olu has also read about the Christmas story. So check them out because they're really good too. So let's find out all about Babushka. Once there was an old woman called Babushka who lived all by herself in a wooden hut in the forest. The nearest house was many miles away. Although Babushka was very poor, she was very happy. One winter's night, as Babushka sat sewing by her fire, she heard three knocks on her wooden door. And she opened the door. On the doorstep stood three very fine and important looking men. Oh, come in, come in, you are very welcome on such a cold night said Babushka. As she busied herself making the tea and finding some food, Babushka asked the strangers where they were going. Oh, we are following a star that will lead us to a place where a new prince has been born, said one man. We do not know where it will stop. Oh, who is this new prince that you seek, said the old woman. He is a holy child, said the second man. He is Christ's child, who will reign forever. Babushka's eyes widened as the third man showed her the precious gifts that they had brought for the new baby. Oh, I wish I could see this holy child, she said. Then why not come with us, the third man replied. You're very welcome. Oh, no, no, said Babushka sadly. I am too old to go on a journey. Soon the snow eased a little and the three men set off once more. All night long, old Babushka thought of the Christ child. Hmm, I will go, she said. And she packed a bag of toys for the new baby and set off across the snow. Oh, poor Babushka. She had waited too long. She could not find the three strangers. And some say that she is still searching, giving gifts to the poor children on her way. Amen. And we've come to the end of that story. I've got a feeling that it might be a Russian folklore um, story as well. And also uh, a song by Kate Bush. So you can check that out on YouTube. And I think she sings about Babushka. 
Well, I do hope you enjoyed that story. Thank you once again for joining me. If you've got any Christmas suggestions, Christmas story suggestions, we'd love to hear them. Let us know by leaving us a comment or calling us at Quaggy. And until we meet again, remember, take care. Look after one another. Keep washing those hands. Keep opening your advent calendar doors. What treats will you find behind them? Mmm, I wonder. And keep smiling. Bye for now. Take care.